of Troy. Don't pay a dividend, which I don't like, but let's check out their five years. As you can say, it's kind of a growth stock. I mean, we're at all-time highs. Uh, let's look at the trough to peak. Yeah, I mean, it's over 130%, basically. Uh, I'm like 125%. Uh, from the low, which was the 18th of March, to where we are today, basically. Well, $8 away. Um, yeah. Again, it looked like it just hit its its breakout level of 2018. So, erased all the investors over the last two years. Kind of a, a restart, whatever you want to call it. And off to the races. To all brand new highs. Let's keep it going. Let's look at the profile. Institutional ownership, 104%. So we, we know that it's a straight owned by big institutions. Um, Let's look at this. So they're in Bermuda. Bermuda, excuse me. At least this portion is from Bermuda. I wonder if they're in Bermuda. They're not paying American. They're not really paying taxes, but then they're not paying their. They're not paying dividends. So now I'm not saying that they're. They're what they do is amazing. You can read the article and read a little bit more. Like, here you go. Helen Troy announces agreement to extend Revlon license for hair care, appliances, and tools. They're in Vix Vapor, like Vix Vapor Rub, Ox, you go Vix, Braun, Honeywell, Hydro Flask. Like, they make all the products. Like, they make the products and then the other people sell it. So they don't they don't too much pay. Um, it's a growth stock in a sense, but I'm not understanding why. Um, ah, uh, there you go. There. <laughs> Yeah, over the last seven years, your ten grand would be sixty-seven thousand, which is not a bad uh, hiccup. I would say that's growth five hundred percent in seven years. Yeah, kind of get it. Twenty-seven percent per annum. Yeah, it's a growth stock. Give it a little bit. Once their cash flow goes higher, then I can see them turning into. Uh, like a cash cow, let them split a couple times. But if if they're at two twenty two, a hundred percent institutional ownership. It's very interesting stock. I mean, it's they make the products for like your everyday products. So as long as and they just sign that long contract, as long as it continues to grow their business, then I don't see why they won't. Because they even boast right here. Um, I don't know where I was. Outstanding cash. Okay, okay. Get out of the way. Outstanding cash, cash flow, and financial flexibility. That like they're they're obviously making money. They have money on the side. They're not worried about money, and they're just trying to just expand and grow. So I'm for maybe about five to ten years. They'll start giving a cash dividend, and I'm pretty sure they'll be able to pay a decent cash dividend.